Hello everybody and welcome back. Craft Farms here, long time no see. We are kicking it back off with a uh, another series. Uh, hopefully be able to stick to uh, videos for a while here and uh, get somewhere on this. So we are going to be playing on Tahitian County. Uh, we are going to start off by doing a farm tour today. And uh, then in the next video, we will jump right on into some uh, spring field work. Uh, once <clears throat> we hit that point. Um, we are on August 1st right now. Uh, that's just where it started when I started the save game, even though I have the start and spring mod. So I'm not sure why that is, but uh, I will be advancing us to uh, beginning of fieldwork season, which is going to be probably, we'll probably go right to uh, March and... Uh, We'll kick things off. I still got a few things to figure out yet on here um, as far as a work plan, figuring out what uh, is going to go in what fields. Um, we do have a little bit of a loan, $106,573 right now. And uh, if we go down here, you can see we own 140, 139, 142, 130, 129, and 131. Um, some of this is going to go into alfalfa. I'm thinking probably field 131 here. Uh, beans, it's right here at the yard. Then we got our uh, hay ground right here. But I still got to work on that and iron out a couple of things. But uh, other than that, we are ready to rock and roll. So we're going to jump right into it and uh, take a tour of everything. So here we got our uh, old first gen, <clears throat> excuse me, first gen Dodge one ton dually Cummins, uh, kind of the main tow pig. And then we got our square body uh, Chevy with a 6.2 diesel in it and again a dually. Um, we're going to pop this door open and we'll jump right in over here at our shed. We have our John Deere XUV 865M side-by-side -side John Deere 330 uh, lawn tractor. Just kind of our little tool shed, you know, for the side-by-side, -side, the mower, little odds and ends. Um, so on this series, we're starting off kind of smaller, a little more old school, and uh, we're going to work our way up. So we will uh, go over here now into the farmyard. And since it's right here along with a path, we will start off right here at the uh, cow barn. Got a big open freestall barn, or I guess I wouldn't even call it a freestall barn, but um, nice big area for them. Uh, we got slurry here, and not sure what that is. I got to look at that, I guess. Got uh, our milk room. Oops. Okay, why am I climbing? There we go. Um, and then we got access in here. Nice, uh, decent space for them. So, um, we're going to start off with a few cows and kind of build our herd up as we go. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to pull this right up here by the building. And we will take a walk around and look at everything else. Uh, here we got our John Deere 230 uh, 
grain head, the NAS uh, 376 sunflower header, and then the John Deere 1243 all crop head. Uh, we got the green tanks here are our liquid fertilizer, black is our uh, herbicide. Over here we got the versatile and John Deere augers from the uh, grain bin or well the old school auger pack or whatever. I forget the name of it. I've had this thing for so long uh, but it's the vintage, there we go, vintage auger pack uh, by BC Bueller modding along with his um, West Steel Roscoe bins. We have six of them. And then if we jump over here, we got a feed commodity shed so we can grind um, our hay and our straw for the winter. Uh, for wintertime feeding, I should say. And then we got uh, two bale storage buildings so we can store all of our straw and alfalfa bales. We'll start down here on the end. We have our bale trailer. Uh, we got the Haybuster H1130 tub grinder, the 36-foot Dakota hopper trailer. Um, then we got our load trail trailer sitting here. Uh, we got a welderator on it, uh, fuel tank, airline, uh, just kind of our little service trailer for in the fields. And then we got our Demco um, header trailer. And then the Sooner Livestock Trailer for hauling our cattle. Over here, uh, in this far bay, beans that we are currently in summer. Um, we got our Pronovost uh, snowblower tucked away in here. And then if we go inside the shop... We have the... International 1086 front wheel assist with the Hauer, um, or no, yeah, Hauer loader and then Lazy E Modding's double bale spike. This is going to be kind of our main workshop um, during the winter time. We'll keep our truck in here uh, so it can stay inside the heat and uh, be ready to rock and roll in the mornings when we are hauling out grain. And then back here is our cold storage. So we've got the Mac um, Semi. All nice and pretty for going down the road. Uh, we've got a Chevy C70 grain truck. Or, well, C70 truck, I should say. With the Kill Bros uh, Gravity Wagon uh, tender body on it. And then we've got... One of the Max right here, this has our liquid tender on it. And then we've got two Mac grain trucks. Uh, we are running a John Deere 8820 combine. We got duels on it and the longer auger. And uh, I do also have the larger hopper extension on it. John Deere 4440. Uh, Kind of our main spray tractor and then for putting up hay. And then we've got our International 1586. This is going to be kind of the main workhorse uh, between this guy and then our Steiger Panther PT350. Uh, these are the main two uh, workhorses right here. So they're going to be the big dogs around here for a while. So that is our main uh, shop, or our main heated shop, I should say, with uh, cold storage. And then we got the pressure washer sitting here, and then we got our diesel fuel tank here as well. And then if we go up here into our cold storage building... Here is all the rest of our machinery. So we've got the, oh, what is it, KTM or something like that. Uh, this is our cultivator. 
We have the mobility, what is this, 1000 uh, fertilizer spreader. We got the John Deere 455 uh, drill with liquid fertilizer on it. Uh, our international, uh, I think this is a 950 cyclo planner. Um, also with liquid fertilizer on it. And then our best way sprayer. And over here. For our hay equipment, we got the Heston 8450 uh, with the swath or with the mowing head. With uh, it does have the conditioners in it, so that way we can just mow and it's into hay in one pass rather than having to have bought a tether. And then we got the HS uh, HD2 wheel rake, and then we've got. Two, uh, I don't know, I've heard some people pronounce this gel, some gel. I've always said gel. Uh, so we got our gel 1310 round baler and our mixer wagon as well. Um, these recently just came out on itch.io. I don't remember exactly who it was that did them up, but uh, they are definitely very nice. So yeah, as you can see, we are right here on the map. Um, there, the house was already here. I put down the shed, and then I built this yard. All that was here originally was just a machine shed. So we, uh, I sold that machine shed off and built it uh, as you see it now. So, um, yeah, so while we're here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get everything set up. So we've got 29, 30, 31, 39, 40, and 42. Uh, let's go ahead in here and add all of our fields. So we need 129. 130, 131, and 139, 140, and 142, right? Yep. Okay, so 131 is going to go into alfalfa. Planned fruit is going to be alfalfa. It needs lime. Plowing is not needed. Roller it will need. And I do, now thinking of it, I also need to pick up a land roller. I forgot to get that. This is the one thing... One other thing that I forgot to buy. Um, fertilizer type is going to be sowing with fertilizer. Not done. And spray is need. Okay. Now as for crops, we're going to see just what uh, runs us the highest prices. So that way we can put in the highest paying crops. So wheat is 25, 23, oats are pretty decent, those are 40, so I think we're going to go with oats for our uh, small grain for getting the straw. Soybeans are 78, sunflowers are 51, and then I believe we also have rye that's 39 narrow soybeans are 78 so the narrow soybeans are 78 regular soybeans okay so they're the same price um and i believe that is it yep so i think oh i guess we didn't look at corn not thinking of it 
That's silage corn down there. Corn, 32.03. So we have five fields open. And I'm thinking what I want to do is let's put, because we want to stock up on straw bales. So I'm thinking we're going to do 140 in oats. So then that's going to need lime. It's going to need a roller over it. It's going to get fertilizer when we seed. And it'll need to be sprayed. <clears throat> and then we're going to do soybeans, sunflowers, corn. And you know what? Let's throw sorghum in. Let's just have a bit of a variety. Um, so we got 33, 51, 78, and 32. So I'm going to want a bigger field of oats or of uh, soybeans. So I think we're going to go soybeans on 142. Again, all the same stuff here. Okay, we got that one. So we got 29, 30, and 39 left to decide. 129, I think we're going to do our sorghum. I don't, uh, I don't know what else I would want to put in there because it's kind of a smaller field. And I want it to be a... I want the higher paying crops to be on the larger fields. Okay, so that just leaves sunflowers and corn. And that leaves us with 30 and 39. So, I think we're going to put sunflowers on field 130 and corn on 139. Sunflowers... It's going to need lime and a roller. It's going to get fertilized with the drill. And it needs that. And this is going to be our corn. Oops, wrong one. And there we go. There we have it. We got her all figured out of our crop plan for the year. Um, let's go ahead and head back up to the house, I guess. Um, and what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to pick up the land roller, get that parked right here in this empty spot. So that's going to work out perfect. And uh, I will get that. I will get us fast forwarded uh, to springtime and I'm going to put a phone call in to the co-op in town and have them uh, get us down for lime for the spring. Uh, they are going to bring the lime to us and then uh, <clears throat> seed we will have to run into town for and go pick up. But uh, that that will be just fine. So that is going to do it for today, folks. Um, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And keep an eye out for the upcoming videos of this series. No plans as to when I'm uploading or anything like that. But... Uh, I will try to as much as I can. Thanks for watching, folks, and we'll catch you all in the next video.